Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. This guy here is Dustin. Hey, I'm the bourbon guy, and this is Keith. Kind of a music guy. Musician. No. We've been <laughs> over this. Not a musician. <laughs> we got another brat. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> he said, ooh. Why are you in? Because I have yet to have a bourbon from this distillery that I did not like. What's funny is, I went and got a hat. Kind of at random. He was literally un unaware of what bottle I was grabbing from one of Steve's. Yep, Steve. This is a Steve bribe. And independently, we came out here with Lux Row, both of us. Yeah. So, that'll happen occasionally, but, you know, I like to call it out when it does. Steve had sent us Rebel Cast Strength. Have you had this? I've had a barrel pick of Cast Strength. This is a Bourbon World barrel pick. I haven't had this one yet. So it's a single barrel, and it's a cast strength. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a double, double, and it's rubber. This is a bourbon world? Bourbon world, yeah. They tend to have pretty good taste. They do. We'll so. see We'll see how this one shakes out. I did have one rebel that I was like, mm-mm. No. Really? Yeah, down at uh, that honey hole. Yeah. That's kind of in the ghetto. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, oh, you did a tasting there, and it wasn't great. I was like, well, I'm not buying that. Yeah. Well, so we'll see how this one turns out. All Hopefully right. it's good. What song does Steve want with this? So Steve, uh, we've had kind of a trend from folks bribing us. Yeah. Giving us some Alabama tanks. Well, apparently our viewers like Alabama. Well, apparently we like Alabama because well, we like Alabama. Shh. Don't tell them that. We're well, we country we've, music fans. We've been over this. We've liked every Alabama song. Shut your mouth. We've liked every Alabama song you've sent us. That's I not mean, wrong. it's just a fact. That's not wrong. Um, so we've got another one. This one's 40 hour week and in parentheses for a living. So well, live in apostrophe. Because if you're in Alabama, you don't pronounce your G's. Right. Living. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, I. I don't think I've heard this song. Uh, I'm interested to check it out. And now I'm suffering the problem you had a couple weeks ago where I've got this pending sneeze. <laughs> oh, we'll slow down. Don't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we will not no, slow no, no, no. motion my sneeze. Here we go. Can I see your knife? There are people in this country work hard every day not for fame or fortune do they strive but the fruits of their labor are worth more than their pay and it's time a few of them were recognized hello detroit auto workers let me thank you for your time you work a 40 hour week for a living what do you think the chances are that we're going to get props for the car wash here? Zero chance. Hello, Pittsburgh, steel mill worker. Let me thank you for your time. You work a 40 hour week for a living. I just to send it on down the line. I really. Uh, I'll, I'll be less. Stoppy, stoppy, stoppy. Yeah. He's going to stop it after every verse. I'm not sure how many or if any steel mills are left in Pittsburgh. Really? So it used to be that whole Rust Belt area, Wheeling, West Virginia to Pittsburgh was nothing but steel mills. And I know that uh, they've all closed down in Wheeling. Wow. They're just rotting. Uh, that they, sucks. Uh, so... This may be, for a lot of people, a throwback to kind of a different time when a lot of this type of work was available in, in different ways. You know we got a steel mill out by my house, right? Do like it. a pretty good size one. Yeah, I have no idea. I'll maybe there's... You, I'll have to take you by there. Maybe they're still rolling steel out there in Pittsburgh, but I don't think they're doing it at the scale they used to. They're right off of uh, 74. Oh, okay. So access to the interstate and they got a rail. Yeah. So... Wonder, let me thank you for your time. You work a 40 hour week for a living. I just to send it on down the line. This is for the one who swings the hammer. Driving home. 
the nail For the one behind the counter Ringing up the sales For the one who buys the fire The one who brings the mail For everyone who works behind the scenes You can't see them every morning In the factories and the fields in the city streets and the quiet country towns Working together like spokes inside a wheel They keep this country turning around Hello Kansas, we feel farmer Let me thank you for your time You work a 40-hour week for a living mm. Just to send it on down the That's line. not right we feel farmers work way more than we're here. Virginia coal miner, let me thank you for your time. You work a 40-hour week for a living. No, they don't. Just to send it on down the line. This is for the one who drives the big rig. Up and down the road. For the one out in the warehouse. Bring it in the load. For the waitress, the mechanic. That's interesting. Now, so because we we made the comment a couple times during the song, there are at least at least a couple of of uh, trades that they talked about in the song that we know for a fact work way more than forty hours a week. Oh yeah. I would almost hazard a guess that, a, like, maybe the majority. Maybe. Not, not all of them, because there's, like, the Detroit uh, auto workers. There's a union, they, right? Yeah, so they're, 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 probably probably make, 40. they're probably around 40 hours a week. The steel mill workers probably have a union, so they're probably close to 40. But I bet there's a lot of overtime there. Probably. Uh, but we know the farmers. Yeah, no, those guys. <laughs> That's not 40 hours a week. No. Nope. I mean, there may be times in the season when it's 40 hours a week or even less. What, harvest but, or planting? <laughs> yeah, I mean, those guys no. are going, you know, 12, 14 hours a day, seven days a week, nonstop. 24 hours sometimes, dude. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. This, so, you know what? And, I, and miners, I mean, if, if you're working 40 hours a week, you're phoning it in because those guys on a per hour basis make a lot of freaking money. And they want to work 60, 70 hours. Because it's that money. It's that, that money's boo-boo. coming in, yeah. Um, and they do. They, they, they do. Uh, do coal miners not have a union? Oh, yeah. I thought they did. But they want the overtime, so. Yeah, they're. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're going to they're gonna work as much as they can. Um, Maybe that could be the same for the auto workers, too, then. I, I don't know. I don't know Me anything either. about that industry. Me either. Um for me, it was a little hard to kind of, like, not get political listening to this. How so? So, the country used to produce everything. Dude. And not complain about it. Well, oh yeah, they, they complained. I mean, every, every... that's that's always been a function of it. But production in the United States... It's kind of my understanding has has fallen because um, the world kind of decided that we would use China and Malaysia as our production floor. All right. And the U.S. became a commercial state, right? So we became the market and the commerce, but the actual production's been outsourced. A lot of it. Um, and so 
this song, I think, for a lot of people, is going to be kind of painfully nostalgic. Yes. Yeah. It's, pa- uh, it's painfully, the, because their industry might not be there anymore, right? Especially when you look at where I'm from. Yeah. The mines have been shut down largely. I mean, the number of people going underground today compared to 1980 is night and day different. And what does it do to the towns when the mine shuts down? They're all ghost towns. Yep. Uh, it's it's they're they're all go in states of decay. It's really rough to see. Um, so I'm probably going to shut up on that now. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, as far as the song, and you guys know how we are. We we call it like we see it. You get what you get. I was kind of, I, I mean, I, I got the song. I enjoyed the song. The vocals were outstanding. The instrumentals were, it's, I mean, it's Alabama, right? That's, yep. But when it got to the end and the were great. America the Beautiful came on, I was like, this is just too much cheese for me. There we got a little cheese. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It was very, it, it turned almost commercial. I, it almost felt propagandist. Yeah. It, I don't. That's probably going to tick a lot of these people off um, because there are so many people um, mm-hmm. that, and, and I think correctly, cling to the values that we used to that have. are represented in this song. A hundred percent. And they're feeling pretty downtrodden right now. Yep. You know, so uh, I'm, I'm not trying to piss you off. Just the end of the song felt a little cheesy. But I absolutely, I mean, Dustin and I both come from, you know, a blue-collar world at best. Yep. And uh, we get it. Yep. Right? 100%. Uh, so, you know, I, I enjoyed the song. I'm sure it, for a long time it was an anthem for people, played in bars, and, and, I, and I get it. But today, looking back through that lens, it's frankly, it's a little painful. You're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. That's, that, that's, that, I think that is... That is that's some deep shit. He's right. got some deep shit. I have my moments. He does. <laughs> I make him laugh or something. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Come well, to Bourbon if you like this, reacts and get all fucking depressed. If with you Keith. like this video, <laughs> which you may be crazy if you like this help. video. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's go to something a little more cheerful, like the contents of your glass. I like this one. Yeah, me too. Yeah, this is good. Uh, Steven, thank you. That one does not disappoint at all. The one that I had... Oh, man, that is good. Dude. So up front, I'm getting oak bitters and orange peel. Normally, Lux is a cinnamon bomb. Uh, caramel, dark caramel. There's some of that there, too. Yeah. Um, oh, damn, that's good. The mid is crazy volumes of vanilla. Like, almost like vanilla act, extract vanilla. God, I got so much vanilla in the mid. Yeah, you're not wrong. It kind of wraps your tongue. A little bit of that's there up front, too. The finish... Is vanilla, lots of oak, and there's like some lime back there. Take a small sip, tiny super sip. small sip. I want to see, I want to see if that vanilla changes on you at all. No, it's still there, but the cinnamon came back. Cinnamon's there. I get in the finish with that oak. It's like I don't. Maybe it's just my palate tonight. I get a like a cocoa oak. No, no. There. So if you've had high high cocoa dark chocolate, yeah, the chocolate bitter. That's that's very much there. It is mixed in with like what. Tastes to me like tons of oak. Yeah. Um, but it's glorious. The whole thing is a wash. Like it's got this veneer of vanilla over top of it. Mm-hmm. From start to finish. 
So it's so it's like it's you've candy. got from start to finish you've got vanilla going through and then you've got all these other flavors popping in. Yeah. Yeah. Like that lime's popping in, a little bit of citrus is popping in here and there. Um so the cinnamon's popping in. Uh, lemon lime almost. Yeah, like yeah. Like not 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 quite as it's it's like you mixed them, right? Cuz that lemon lime is a little lighter than just a straight lime. Yes. I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. Um this is a really good drink, and I don't think it's that expensive. Steven, this is good. Yeah. I would think this is, well, well, two I, things. I'd pay 50, 60 bucks for it. I was going to say, it's so it's a single barrel. Okay, so I might pay 70 And it's cash strength. Yeah, might pay 70 I'm saying 70 75 for mm. this one, uh, and it's still a buy. Oh, yeah. All day. This is a great barrel pick. Holy shit. Yeah, it's it's amazing. Um at seventeen ninety nine though, and not a penny more. <laughs> That's all I'd pay. Yeah. So we've just made the eeny meeny miny mo fun. What's happened? Yeah. We got a, you guys have sent us recently a couple of good bottles. A couple of really good bottles. Yeah. Proof. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Ooh. I, I really have no idea. Let me uh let me see what what I think. Now, this is a single barrel and a barrel proof. So, I, I should be expected to go high. Hand selected and extraordinary. Not wrong this time. <laughs> yeah, the marketing wonks got it right. Weeded and definitely smooth. Mm, I'm not so sure if I'd go smooth because you're definitely aware you're drinking some ethanol. Which is why I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess the proof at 115. Well, it must still be smooth because it's at 120. Holy, then it is smooth. <laughs> the marketing wonks nailed it. It's 60 ABV. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's strong and good. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is definitely a buy. Absolutely. A I, buy. So this is Rebel Cash Strength out of Luxro, uh, and this is the Bourbon World Barrel Pick. Yeah, they're all going to taste different. I was going to say the one I had uh, at the other place, it was their barrel pick, and it had this like medicinal cherry flavor to me, and it was like Robitussin, and I was like, mm -mm, no, I'm not drinking that. That was mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. This does not taste like that. So for the if record. you if you can get your hands on the Bourbon World barrel pick, absolutely do it. Do it. All right. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Drop yeah. down in the comments. Tell us what songs we need to check out, what whiskeys we need to try. and uh, I'm going to say something I haven't said in a while. What's that? If you enjoyed this video, again, seek help. But your friends probably also need help. So share it with them. Yeah. Hey. It's a fun thing to do. Till next time, guys. See you.